Okay, so uh, now I'm going to show you uh, how I continue after um, those washes have uh, dried. I'm just going to add uh, s some simple f foreground and middle ground um, elements, the trees, bushes, foreground. I'm us using this big brush still for the whole picture and I'm just uh, simply putting in, as I explained in the workshop, these are not real trees, they're just symbols for, for trees really. So, uh, you know, that's uh, just a simple way of putting it. I'm using the brush to uh, get some interesting texture of grasses, very simply, very quickly. Nothing very involved here. It just gives a nice uh, contrast, those dark branches and foliage against the bright or oh, brighter uh, sunlit, oh, not not so much sunlit, but maybe uh, moonlit sky. So to balance that side, as we did in the, in the workshop, I'll I'll put something similar in the background just to balance it. Let's see something like this. I will vary these uh, compositions as we go on, but uh, this is just to simply show you how the uh, next stage can be uh, tackled. I don't want it to go as right to the top of the picture, just uh, about at that point because uh, the perspective uh, would look off if it was too tall. Um, so I'm just going to put in some branches now. I'm, I'm adding a touch of uh, green to this now. Start this side. And I'm using the brush on its side. Okay, like this. And I'm just kind of scalping it really over, over those trees rather than uh, trying to model all, all these uh, branches in individually, the foliage. I'm just uh, given a general the tabs and sweeps. I can give a bit of definition to these uh, grasses now before it dries completely. And over this side I can do a similar thing. Just boldly, you know, just sweep it over those uh, tree trunks. Okay. Now the foreground, I think, needs a bit more definition because uh, it wouldn't really be that smooth in uh, real life. So I'm adding a touch of green to this. Uh, darker mix I'm, I'm left with. I'm just going to go straight across and uh, that second sweep there with less pigment on the brush really um, created some texture. So before it dries completely I'm just going to do a couple of little um, calligraphic type touches just to uh, indic indicate uh, uneven ground. And that's, that's about it really. I could uh, continue much more, but uh, not really any need to. Just put in a couple of birds. So that's about it. Um, maybe I'll just take the opportunity while I think of it to show you this uh, technique of um, using something sharp. I've got a, a little uh, stick here for stirring tea. Um, you can scratch out. While, while the uh, paint is still a bit damp, scratch out these um, little effects here for grasses and that just adds a bit of variety to uh, the picture, a bit more vis visual interest. again don't overdo it and I think that will do